Floyd was created to make life on researchers easier so that they didn't really have to be an expert in the instruments, but rather they could focus on their experiments. So all I wanted to do most of the time was check. Did my dye get loaded into my cells? Did my GFP transfect? Was my antibody working? So after a couple of years of frustration, finally me and a buddy said, we can do better than this. And we went out and talked to other users and they were having similar problems to us. They didn't do fluorescence microscopy every day. They didn't do it every week, every month. They needed a simpler way to check their stuff. So we tried to make Floyd as intuitive as possible to allow people to be able to just walk up, image a sample, get a result, and walk away, and never have the instrument be a burden. You can take a student who's never done fluorescence microscopy, and they'll either walk up with a slide, or you give them a slide and say, there's three colors on here, go at it. And they are so intimidated by the old micro microscopes and how they work, they almost don't want to start. The first person to use it was my 15-year-old son at my kitchen table, a prototype, and he had images going within 45 seconds. Floyd works really well if you're just kind of routinely looking at a lot of GFP expression in mammalian cells, doing transfection experiments, for example. Floyd's perfect for a tissue culture facility where people put it right next to the incubator, pop out their cells, take their image on Floyd, and they're right back in the incubator. They don't have to walk down the hall or walk somewhere else to get the images. One of the beauties of Floyd is that you just flip a single switch, wait about a minute, and you're instantly ready to image. Something you have to work around on fluorescence microscopes is the stage. They either have inserts or they won't accept everything you bring up to them. You have to place, place the sample in something that you can use on a fluorescence microscopy stage. With Floyd, it was built to take everything from slides to tissue culture discs to flax. Anything you can put on there is going to work with Floyd. We made the stage on Floyd something that uh, both accommodated all types of sample vessels, but also would allow you to very intuitively move your sample around in very small motions. People think it's magic, they think it's magnetic, they think it's some sort of electronic system. They're able to move the stage just a few microns at a time because of the technology we put in. On a traditional microscope, you'd put a sample on and try to just adjust it a little bit and you see your image just slide way off the screen. Another thing we saw when you go out and watch people do fluorescence microscopy or even in our building is they're oftentimes in a dark room. With Floyd what we did is put this little light shield that actually blocks ambient light. So Floyd, we've done it out in the hallway of buildings and most of the Floyds that are used even on this, this campus are at the end of somebody's bench. Everything on our user interface is very iconography, it's icon based. It's what we're used to seeing in our computer world of today or whatever else we use. There's a, there's a camera you click to take an image. There's a red light bulb you click to turn on the red. Um, I haven't seen anybody have a problem with using this machine to know what to use. The single hardest thing that I've always observed is people have a really hard time focusing on a sample. They'll turn the knob one direction and they'll hit a stop and they'll go, oh, I didn't see anything, and they'll have to crank back on the knob all the way. So we put an old analog switch on there that, that just goes from zero to ten. And basically you get used to, I have this type of sample vessel. And if you walk up with a flask and you're focused at a number four on the scale, the next time you walk up with that same flask, boom, put it at number four and you're in focus and you're off and running. With Floyd what we did is integrated all of these different parameters that control sample intensity in just one simple slider. You move it to the right, it gets brighter. You move it to the left, it gets dimmer. And that controls the gain, the exposure time, and the LED light intensity. Floyd was made that once you're happy with the image you see, you simply click a camera button and it captures your image. Traditionally what you do is you take all those different images that you collect, go offline to sh something like Photoshop or Image J, and then have to figure out that software program and how to overlay your images. Well, Floyd, once you've taken your images and you simply click one button and go to processing, it automatically merges those. Once you've collected your image and overlaid, you're actually able right there on the device to be able to adjust the brightness and the contrast for each of your color channels individually. You can also toggle on and off the color channels to see what effect the brightness and contrast has. And these are just simple little slider bars, brightness and contrast, both very intuitive, um, and it prevents you from really having to take your images to another third-party program. 
The other nice thing that I like is that whether you're there that day, two days from now, two months from now, two years from now, those numbers will be the same. Then you know if I had the brightness and contrast, if I had changed that brightness and contrast to some percentage on those scales, and I take the same light intensity and use the same brightness and contrast, you're comparing apples to apples. So when you're collecting an image on Floyd and you've captured that image, you're actually able to go in and zoom, click, pan, and drag around. With the digital zoom, you can get the equivalent magnification of a 40x objective by zooming up to 200%. The digital zoom also goes up to about 1840x, and the overall magnification on that is about the same as an 80x objective. The nice thing is the resolution is very good even up at that high digital zoom. So with Floyd what we did is have a single objective with fixed optical filters in place, which means no frustrating aspects of filters being moved without your knowledge, but it's also very durable. It's super robust. While we made Floyd a very simple instrument, we also put high quality components in there. We have a high quality 20x objective and what we've seen is even the most advanced microscopists have commented on the excellent images they've captured on Floyd. So you're able to take an image on Floyd and just instantly hit print and get this nice small little print that peels off and sticks right in your notebook. And it's, you can also of course not put it in your notebook, but put it at your desk, on a wall, coffee mug. You can save in four file form formats. You can save in ping, tiff, bitmap, and jpeg, which are the classic ones you want to save in. You can either save just the overlaid image, let's say you're taking three colors, you can save just that all three colors merged, and you can save the underlying files as high quality tiff images. Having developed Floyd and been in on it from the beginning, having then been able to take it out into the field and do demos with customers and see their reaction, the one thing that just shocks me every time, but it also, you know, gives me a little warm feeling on the inside, is that people overwhelmingly think Floyd is fun. One of, one of the other things I've seen with users that have Floyd currently, or when we're out there just demoing it, or the beta testers, is how they really kind of fall in love with Floyd, with the click and also with the printing of it, you know, you, you walk away with something when you use Floyd. But that simple, it's on a monitor, I don't have to look through the eyepieces, I'm using the mouse to drive it, it easily focuses for me, it gave me an assistance even to find my focus. And the way I can go from a simple click, from having, taking these images, to processing them and merging them, I've, I've heard people say, I love this machine. This thing is exact, this would have made my life so much easier when I started. Or with new students, I can do it. I'm not intimidated by this. I can now do fluorescence microscopy.